As a natural science major, I'm very excited to be working with the new bee colonies that Dominican University has. Each week we take part in checkups and manage the hives, make sure all the activity is as normal as it should be. From the queen bees to the worker bees, they, the way they interact and can all manage to have one strong surviving colony is just extremely fascinating. What our job consists of is taking a look at um, the whole production that's going on within the hive. Uh, there's usually um, honeycomb that's starting to form at the beginning and then the bees kind of do their whole process of putting in pollen and nectar into the, into the cells and the queen starts working on producing eggs. Honeybees are pollinators that are really useful for a lot of our agriculture for, for fruits and vegetables. We've set up honeybee hives in our campus to really understand the complexity of both the life of a honeybee as well as the roles they play in pollination. So this is a really complex issue that, that's really important that we address it from multiple perspectives. Not just biology, but also nutrition, political science, philosophy, business. What are the all, how, how do all the disciplines contribute to understanding of, of, of the life of a pollinator? I teach environmental philosophy and environmental ethics. So when we look at the bees, we can look at the use of pesticides, we can use, look at the way that we practice agriculture now, we can look at the ways that in which we are deforesting and the ways in which we're taking away habitat. All of this we can look at through the bees. And being able to then bring the students down into the bee yard safely um, so that they can actually see bees doing their thing and, and, and make it really alive for them is going to add so much to my classes. I think the bees provide a really awesome educational experience for students because they are such complex creatures and we can learn so much from their behavior. Thank you.